Welcome back, everyone, to Let's Play Hot Wheels, world's best driver. Blue team, here we go. Defending their score, they need seven points throughout these three events, so seven out of nine points to match the score of the gold team right now. They do currently have a higher average score than the golden tetrad, though. They have a 2.44 as opposed to 2.42. So who is the navigator for these guys, since I was talking about the different navigators for different teams last episodes? Last episode, singular. In this case, it it's a little bit different, whereas the other char other teams actually do have another character as their uh, as their navigator, for instance, Super Dude for the Golden Tetrad. This one, I, I'm out of robot characters, man. I had to come up with extra robot characters just for this, just for this game in the first place. But, we're actually going to leave it to be the professor. Unfortunately, I went to stage. I selected stage 4 earlier in an earlier episode, so we don't get text here. We don't get anybody talking to us. Platform up again. Grease Lightning. Grease Lightning has done pretty fine on these. Four point one. There we go. But yes, the navigator is a professor, which I think is fairly appropriate considering how they concerning their tone. It's really easy to imagine the professor just keeping a close eye on the soul team and directing them in this way. Blue, you must go through all hotspots as you navigate this rocky platform hop course in the Andes. Bonus points are awarded depending on any remaining time on the clock. Your action button will make the bike hop. Pretty different. This one looks different. Oh geez, this is very different. Okay. I like the idea. Why am I not going in reverse area? Okay, so this is another one of those events where it might be a little awkward to try to do on the first try since I don't know the course yet. There's something in there, but I don't know if it's really worth going in there. There is another yellow pickup. What are those? Okay, now I'm actually just gonna forfeit this attempt. I want to get that yellow pickup. I don't know what those things are. There's actually... Oh, it's funny anyways. How do you get that yellow pickup up there? Up there. So like I said, well, I have to go up there anyways. So we'll see. It's not awkward not knowing... Come on. There we go. I'm not knowing the layout of this place. But... What are these yellow pickups you see in the air? You got one with the red team in an earlier episode, too. Whoops. I have no idea what those do. Nothing has given me any indication at all as to what those are. This little set piece, although this time I'm not going to jump over it. This one's staying kind of poorly. It's to waste more time. Where's that last one? I swear, if it's somewhere ridiculous and way out wherever. Because I have no idea where it is, pretty much. I need to give myself multiple attempts for these events most of the time. Fall on the road. There you go. Flawless, my friend. I have a hard time imagining the professor calling his guys his friend. No problem anyways, jeez. Okay. Well, Grease Lightning knows what they're doing. Like, even above and beyond, not only got getting a perfect score, but also getting whatever that yellow thing was. Content acquired with that driving blue. Keep pushing. Photo. Where's that? So that's what those are? Let's take a look at that real quick. 
and all on the first try too, man. That's a little crazy. It's kind of frightening, the standard that these guys are setting. Archives, I guess that would be? Oh yeah, because that, that is the icon. That's the archive icon that that I, item was. Absolutely, it's the icon that you see inside that little film reel. Tutorials. Team Hot Wheels vehicles are constructed to be extremely resilient to damage. Of course, given the extreme conditions and trials that the vehicles will be taken through, some damage is to be expected, but the highly yeah, like Baja, construction there. method employed by our engineers allows the vehicles to operate at peak condition up until the point that the vehicle is totally damaged. Totally damaged? Interesting. Some of these I actually really should take a look at. For instance, actually, Who's I'm just guessing is green. Driver, green. To... Yeah, that one we've seen. The red driver stunts, is instance? able to perform some amazing two-wheel vehicle stunts. While accelerating, that one I believe we looked at. The red driver is able to perform some amazing four-wheel vehicle stunts. While on the ground, press and hold the drift button while steering. And... That one I believe I have seen. Although I don't, remember, I feel like I had a red exclamation mark on. But you've seen that, I'm sure. Congratulations! That's nice. I should actually see. You now purchase the green driver special ability. No, I haven't. That we should look at later. I don't know what Extreme Duel is yet, but we should find out later. That's where the game's credits are. So there are more of these to find in other places. I missed a lot of them. Huh. Interesting. I'm not really worried about them. They're, as far as I can tell, there's no indication of where they all are. Man, that was a nice little setup. Wait a minute. Are these things added for different characters or what? Or for different teams or what? Because I definitely don't remember this being here. Are there more get add as you as you do more stuff or what? This was not here before. I always wondered, could I have like done drift in a circle on here to try to Nope! These collisions do not factor into our strategy, Blue Driver. I was always wondering if I could try to get more points while drifting on that by Your score, Blue Driver. I have no score. But by drifting in a server or something on the wall. Yeah, though, so does more stuff be added as you go through or what? Or is there something that's missing now? Oh, the loop's still there. Yeah, does more stuff get added as time goes on? It's kind of weird because some of the stuff I've actually seen here already. And it's only just now appearing. Anyways. Torque Twister. Who's Torque? Torque is the professor again. I don't think we've ever used Torque, actually. 4.2. I'm sure if we wasted on that. Or, as we were through most of episode time already. Oh well. More Drift Challenge, though, regardless. Okay. Oh, this one's always a big pain, though. Blue Driver, because I don't know this, this course yet. This is your opportunity to showcase your skill set with wide, sweeping, high-speed drifts. Avoid the cones and barrels, and stay out of the water. Don't fall in the water, yeah. it's a good idea. <laughs> yeah, sorry. In any case, I guess I'll just have to... Excellent. Lost focus and the chain broke. I did not break the chain. Right. It's... Hard not to be frustrating this. Style is your signature, I don't know the chain gets broken sometimes. Okay. You need to go further than that to... Really your chain. Or to get points to the drift. You can't just spin in circles. You'd actually be moving forwards at least a little bit as you do it. So this one is open enough that you can do a little Fantastic bit. Fantastic momentum, Blue Driver. Your, your sequencing is spot on, Blue. Quality trick. Uh, you get some lighter drifts. Ah, I don't lose concentration. I just misjudged. Jesus. Yes, this is. So before now we had. Take it to the next level. 
Longer chains add up to larger scores. Keep the next one going. So this is not really a new course, but we have new obstacles on it, which is a little tricky. And a new section, kind of. That previously I'd ended on. Okay, so that's the end there. So if I just keep on our chain, that's absolutely doable. Because my first attempt gave me no real problem. Yeah, though, the score you need is way too high for time to really matter, for the most part. You just need a big combo. It's just not that big of a deal. Brilliant work, Blue Driver. Oh, this part, I never like this part here. It's way too small to try to get much of a drift on. It's weird that as time goes on, you start getting different cars for the same event. I feel like. I'm not using chicane all of a sudden for the drifting event. I don't know why I wouldn't. Excellent performance, Blue Driver. Maintain the chain. Ah, I could not. To win, Blue Driver. You need to improve immediately. I feel like I should have just tried to go fast there or something. That was a really long section. I couldn't really do much of a drift on it, felt like. Is your signature with great trick completion, Blue Driver? That one felt pretty nice. Snapbacks, if you can pull them off, it seems like they're just. Uh. Get pulling out of a drift. Particularly well. Cost time. Time cost points. Alright, so that's my second try. Nice and your miss. Flawless, my friend. How much time did I left on that, too? Not so. Alright, shot number three. <laughs> nice. Because at least I'm starting to get a feel for the course now. I am wondering whether I should be doing something like this, though, because we do have sections here where I can go in a circle. But I'm yet to find an opportunity to really to just keep level. doing one big drift in a circle the whole time. I don't think you can really do that here. Brilliant work, Blue Driver. Because you don't, just don't have enough space. For it. Never mind that. I feel like that's the only place to be able to do it. You could do it anywhere. I mean, there'd be some other place, but not much better. This part right here is just a place where I need to keep on going. I feel like if I could just keep a chain going the entire time, even without adding an extra drifts to where I'm going already, I could get 200,000 without too much trouble. Those extra explosive barrels they add though are a big pain. This is the big problem here. Ah. Moto, uh. hey, 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 don't wipe out. I'm gonna end up losing my event. Fall over like that. Okay, so from here, Great trick completion, Blue Driver. Uh. That's one polished performance. And I don't. So that's probably four attempts, I think that was. I just need one more perfect run. But I'm not going to go beyond one more run just because I believe that puts me at five attempts if I actually beat this now. Good. Take it to the next level. But yeah, the ends of these courses tend to. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> that one probably flipped me over entirely. The ends of these courses, I feel like, tend to get a little harder. Come on, I need to actually s at least start well. I've had four fairly solid runs. Brilliant work, Blue Driver. I think four. Start concentrating on these things and keeping count of things that happen really far apart at the same time. I can't dri take drifts as nearly as wide as I'm used to doing in some of these parts because of the 
barrels. So I just don't drift right in, I don't. As long as I drift as I should be able to. Like this year, though, for instance, I could do a really dr wide drift there. I wasn't trying to do something drift there if it wasn't for those barrels. This could be me. This could be it, though, if I can. Just keep this chain going. Drift. Not drifting, though. You lost concentration. Only the task at hand matters. Eliminate other thoughts. Unsatisfactory. Uh, I don't think I got that. No, that just task. barely not. Darn! Team blue with that display. I rushed towards the end there. That's gonna be it, though. So that's the first non-briefer professor. I guess <laughs> going for that's just precisely what I did, actually. Trying to get exactly the score you need and nothing more results in a small miscalculation. And again, having just less than you need. Okay. That little drifting gauntlet done with. Those ones still take more time because they just take a long time to do a single attempt on. Well, that's that. Wall drift again. Loop coop. Have we used loop coop? We have. It's muscles. Why don't you use muscles for something else? Let's see if muscles can outdo Professor on drifting. Now that the Professor has actually fallen to mediocrity and drifting. That's, I guess, someone else is going to put on the put on the task. They only did two for this to tie with the Golden Tetrad. But that would still be lowering their effort score. Drift the car across the walls to get the maximum score, Blue Driver. Thanks. I like how that little picture of somebody missing the on-ramp. So is this one just another... So this one sounds like it would be... might be two drifts or something like that? Or maybe more. Okay. Before you even worry about that... I'm trying to drift all fancy like... I've never actually used this car! Okay, you just keep going back and forth. I've never actually used this car for anything. I never actually tried to handle this car, so I don't know what it's like. Excellent performance, Blue Dr you lost. Come on, man. All you have to do is not hit walls. I okay. think. All you have to do is manage to stay on the wall for one. Although it's probably easy the first time. And harder the first time. This, Come on now! Just don't fall off the wall. No <laughs> the car can't stay on the wall. And it, it, it bumps on the ramp for some reason. I'm not trying to do anything fancy. I'm just trying to get across the wall. Place this apart so that you can just barely keep your combo going. Jeez. Pain is temporary, glorious forever. That sounds absolutely like something Presser would be saying to these guys. Wow. I don't totally mean that in a good way, but... Driver. You lost concentration. Only the best triumph through adversity like this. Keep going, Blue Driver. So, it's fairly obvious what you have to do, and it doesn't seem like that big of a deal. But it's surprisingly difficult to actually pull off drifts on this. All I have to do is get a couple drifts across. It's weird. I get different um, grades for drifts. Oh well, no, I always got different grades for drifts, I think. Physics are your friend today, Blue Driver. Okay, so that's the sort of thing we need to do. We got it anyways. Okay, I figured it would be a lot tougher. Never mind. So that's a three for Muscles. Muscles is, I guess, better than the, the Professor. The Professor, I suppose, is not above... They're not too prideful to let somebody take their place if someone else can do the job better. It's all about the main objective. That being said, so that leaves us with what? So Professor is still MVP, of course. Uh, in large part because the professor has had the most events. But, so the total score for blue team, they have an average of 2.5. My god. 
their average went up? Man. And they have a total score of 30 as opposed to Golden Petra. It's 29 right now. So there's still no fighting these guys. At least nothing can make them go away. They're still a threat neck and neck with the Golden Tetrad. But I'll see you guys next time in the next episode. How long is this episode going over? A decent amount. But I'll see you guys next time in the next episode when we get back to the green team. Green Round team. five starts Super and fast. something new comes into the play. Comes into play. Special abilities for everyone. We'll see what those are. Bye everyone.